Hello, this is Michael Rubin, and we've been working on how to know the names of the notes on any harmonica. And what we did, we took a C major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and we numbered them. 1 would be C, D would be 2, E, 3, etc. Then we put spaces between them, and we filled in those spaces with the notes in, be in between those notes on the keyboard. So for example, in between C and D on the keyboard is C sharp or D flat. It's the same note, two names. In between D and E are D sharp or E flat. And we numbered them. So D flat we called the flat two because it is one keyboard note lower than the, than the two note. And flat means one keyboard note lower than. Now we could have called it a sharp one, but most of the time musicians talk in terms of flats and not sharp. And so E flat became the flat three and so on. Now we notice that there is never a flat one, flat four, or flat eight, and that is very important. So now we've got to figure out what does this mean for another harmonica. Well, let's look at a B-flat harmonica because we've been working on the song Baby Scratch My Back by Slim Harpo, which is on a B-flat harmonica. Underneath C is the number 1. We're going to put a B-flat underneath that. And now, underneath, underneath each following number, we're going to uh, continue to put all the notes on the keyboard starting on B-flat. So under 1 it should say B flat, under flat 2 it should say B, then um, C, then D flat, D, E flat, E, F, G flat, G, A flat, A, B flat. And so what you would do if you look at the number 5, you will notice that underneath it it should be an F. If you look at the uh, number flat 3, underneath that it should be a D flat. So this tells you the scale degrees for all the notes in the key of B flat for every note. Now, what this also means, I hope you're starting to guess, is that everywhere there is a C on a C harmonica, there is a B flat on a B flat harmonica. So for example, 1 blow, 4 blow, 7, and 10 blow is the note C on a C harmonica. 1 blow, 4 blow, 7 blow, and 10 blow is the note B flat on a B flat harmonica. Now hopefully by this point you have memorized your C harmonica. Okay? And you can start using this system to help you quickly find out the names of the notes on any harmonica. Now the first line in the Slim Harpo song goes, 4 bend, 4 draw, 4 bend, 4 blow, 3 single, one draw, two draw. Now the Slim Harpo song is a cross harp song. Cross harp song on a C harmonica is a uh, cross harp on a C harmonica is G. Cross harp on a B flat is F. These scale degrees that we're working on are not the cross harp scale degrees. They are the first position scale degrees. However, it doesn't matter when it comes to knowing the names of the notes on the harmonica. This method will still work, even though we're working in first position. So, let's look at the, at the notes. 4 bend is D flat, 4 draw is D, 4 bend is D flat, 4 blow is C, 3 single bend is B flat, 1 draw is D, and 2 draw is G. Using this number system, in the key of C, 4 bend is the, D flat is the flat 2, D is the 2, D flat is the flat 2, C is the 1, 3 single is the flat 7, D is the 2, and G is the 5. Looking at those numbers and looking below to the B flat chromatic scale, the flat 2 is B, the 2 is C, the flat 2 is B, the 1 is B flat, the flat 7 is A flat, the 2 is C, and the 
five is F. I'll be honest with you, I'm very tired, and right now that was a little bit of a, a, <laughs> it's a little tough on my brain without looking at the actual things. You at least get to look at what I've written down here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go deeper into what you can do, but I hope you understand the basic concept. But next time, we're going to find a way to write down an entire harmonica based on these numbers. And we're going to call it the straight harp numbers template, which is very valuable and something that you can learn to memorize. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon. Oh, you know, it's 5.50. It's only been a, a few minutes. I do want to say, you don't need to have the C scale written out to do this. Let's say you had an A harp. You could just write A to A in keyboard notes. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. And then you could fill in the numbers. Remember, there's never a flat 1, flat 4, or flat 8. So A would be the 1. Is there a flat 2? Yes, because there's never a flat 1, 4, or 8. So there must be a flat 2. So a sharp is flat 2, B is 2, C. Is there a flat 3? Well, there's never a flat 1, 4, or 8. So yes, there is a flat 3. So C is flat 3, C sharp is 3. Is there a flat 4? No, there's never a flat 4. So D is 4. Is there a flat 5? Yes, because there's never a flat 1, 4, or 8. So E flat or D sharp is flat five, E is five. Is there a flat six? Well, there's never a flat one, flat four, or flat eight. So yes, there's a flat six. F is flat six, F sharp is six. Is there a flat seven? Well, there's never a flat one, flat four, or flat eight. So yes, there's a flat seven. G is flat seven, G sharp is seven. Is there a flat eight? Never. Therefore, A is eight. And then, so you didn't even have to write out the C scale first. You can figure out any, any key by using this method. As long as you know the names of the notes on the keyboard, and you know there's never a flat 1, 4, or 8. Okay, see you later.